Imagine if we had chewing gum that kept its freshness for several hours, or anti-aging skin cream that lasted for years instead of months. Or wouldn't it be great if healthy extracts from natural products such as chocolate, fruit, tea and wine could be added to other food preparations? Have you any idea why the use of natural products is still limited today? Well, the reason is that these products contain small natural organic molecules like menthol in chewing gum, vitamin C in skin cream and antioxidants like flavonoids in some foods. Unfortunately, these healthy and useful natural molecules are a bit fragile. They're not as stable as other molecules. What's more, they're not very soluble. All this makes them lose effectiveness quite quickly and limits their practical use. So what can we do about this? We can optimize the molecules. One solution is to couple them to sugar in order to increase their value. This process is known as glycosylation. Up until now, glycosylation is mostly accomplished via a chemical process, for instance, by adding metals and other toxic substances. However, chemical glycosylation has proved to be an ineffective process that also generates a lot of waste. Therefore, we turn to enzymes because enzymatic glycosylation is selective. This means it generates only specific products. The result? Hardly any waste, so environmentally friendly. An enzyme is a protein that can transform an organic molecule without changing its own structure. The only condition is that the enzyme matches the molecule as closely as possible, and these can be hard to find. So we use specialized robots to screen a large number of enzymes for their suitability. The most promising reactions for different organic compounds were then further optimized by a combination of enzyme and process engineering. The resulting organic molecules are called glycosides. Now these molecules contain sugar, which makes them more soluble and stable, and so they can be used in medical, pharmaceutical and food products. After three years of research by various partners, we started to generate larger quantities of these glycosides. All production is performed in a closed setting to safeguard the environment. And one year later, we are ready to present our findings to a commercial catalog. In short, by means of enzymatic glycosylation, we have succeeded in producing several glycosylated organic compounds with improved stabilities and solubilities for further use in food and pharmaceutical products. And we have also optimized the process in our pilot facilities in order to generate the products in kilogram quantities in an economically feasible way. Now it's all ready to be used by the industry. And now the benefits from tea and chocolate are available for a whole range of other food products. Such a success could only be achieved by collaborating with experts from all over Europe, which was made possible thanks to funding from the EC for the Novasides project. Novel Enzymes for the Production of Glycosides